Welcome back. This is Cooking with the Kitchen Conciliary, and I'm Marnie Hall. And I'm Angela Lutz, and we're coming to you once again from J&A Culinary School here in South Philadelphia. And I think we have a really good pasta dish that you're going to make today, huh? We've got a very seasonal pasta dish. So what's the story? The story is, this is, a, this is a dish that I made a lot with my buddy in jail, Sonny. Okay. Who, by the way, is back in the news again. Sonny uh, who? Sonny Franzese. One of the things we had was we had this gardening program. You know, the Bureau of Prisons is all about programming. When we, uh, we started it, they gave out these little tomato plants like this, and you had to go out with it. They'd give you the hoe and the shovel and everything. So, like, you had all these old timers, and they're all telling you how to do it. Meanwhile, none of them are doing any of the work. So I'm like, yeah. Wait, let me guess, you did all the work. Yeah, so I'm out there trying to plant these. It's a little space, you know, and I'm a pretty big guy. I get to, like, the last one or two plants, and all of a sudden, I start to lose my footing. You and I go, the wait a minute, I'm going like this. I, I wind up falling down in the plant, into the plants. I can't get up. Now, sorry. Sonny comes around. You'd think he would say, my friend, my friend, get him up. He's going, get him up. He's crushing all the tomato plants. We're not going to have no tomatoes. He sounds like a real character. Oh, he's a character. We're going to get some pinoli nuts. These pine are nuts. pine nuts. We're going to throw them in this pan, and we're going to toast them. So why is your friend back in the news? I don't know. They, they, they don't want to leave him alone. It's like my friend Joey, they're forever bothering him. I mean, he's a good guy. He's 93 years old. What could he be doing? He's somebody's great grandfather. And he, uh, he's, he's the one that's coming up on trial, right? In well, June? I know he was supposed to have a trial in June for something in, in New York. I don't know. I don't remember. They accused him of something. I don't know what it was. Shaking down a strip club. That's what puts him in the news. I mean, that's what makes him so interesting and funny. I mean, 93-year-old guy shaking down a strip club. Well, I mean, well, he's accused of shaping, shaking down a strip club. Let's get oh. the just the facts right now. Allegedly. We don't know. Right, Allegedly. Of course. Anyway. Okay. All right. First thing we got to do is we got to get some garlic. So for this dish, we're going to use elephant garlic. Now, the way you'll do this is you're just going to get the knife. Don't jump this time, okay? And we go like that and we pull it to the side. Excuse me. You're mad about that. That's it. Oh, well. Good. That's good. A little bit more. Good. Good. We're going to add some olive oil to this pan right now. We're going to dump some pasta in now. So I went down to Pasta Ficcio and got some homemade fazuli. We got to salt our water. You know, I just thought of something. something a 93 year old guy water. going into a strip club, allegedly going into a strip club. Yeah. How did they think he wasn't going to get caught if so he was really doing that? So we're going to add some of this fuzili. That's the thing. It's homemade. You guys too. never think you're getting pasta. caught. What do you mean, you guys? Let's just put a little bit of this garlic in here, all right? Okay. We got to chop up some tomatoes. So tell me what else about Sunny. What, what else is there to tell you? I mean, uh, he's one of crime. He's the underboss of the uh, the Colombo crime family. Well, he's right? accused of being the underboss of the Colombo crime family. I don't think he was convicted yet. Sonny was to the '60s what like John Gotti was to like the '80s, like with the media and always in the news. That legendary writer Gate Talese did a uh, a story on him in Life magazine, the, the Gangster Next Door. I mean, mm -hmm. like, just just a phenomenal guy. He really was. So anyway, moving right along. So now. All we're right. going to add some basil. And that's about as cooked as that tomato is going to get right now. Sonny loved this. Anything with fresh tomatoes. Sonny loved a lot of things. Oh, uh, Sonny. This guy could eat. We're going to add a little bit of smoked mozzarella in here. Mm -hmm. A few pieces of it. And remember the pine nuts we cooked earlier? This is going to taste delicious. And then we're going to use a cheese that you would see. It's called capato cheese. I like this dish. Fast, ain't it? Yeah. Thanks to Sonny. Did he like this dish? Loved it. Loved it. We didn't have all the ingredients. That's why you got your apron on, so don't worry about it. I'm worried about my shoes. <laughs> anyway, this dish is cooked. Well, here it is. With pasta Frenzies. Named for Sonny Frenzies. A true gentleman in every sense of the way. Now, what is that? I mean, after all, he's accused of shaking down gentlemen's clubs. Now, earlier, I got some Italian bread and I put a little garlic and herbs on it, and I toasted it, so you did something extra. How nice. Did it special just for you. <laughs> We're going to drizzle a little olive oil on top. We're going to add a little bit of more of the papado cheese, and a little thing of bacon. Look how pretty, just like you. Lovely. See? You ready? Yeah. For pasta franzese. Let's go. Mm. Do you like it? I, I really do. I love it. As long as you like it, that's all that matters. 
Well, that's it for another episode here of Cooking with the Kitchen Consigliere. If you like this dish and you would like to cook it yourself, you can go to www.kitchenconsigliere.com and download the recipe. See you next time. Ciao.